to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the winner's match of BSL Season 14 Group A. Just, aka Juicy, is starting in the bottom left-hand corner as the blue Protoss. Thanks for playing top bottom, by the way, guys. Maybe I should leave it here just because then white can be white, but I'll, I'll keep it with a color swap. Bottom right-hand corner, we have white starting as the red Protoss. This is on Ascension, and white's PvP is very, very strong. Very strong. I really feel like there was some... I think it was Gosifer versus White last season. Where it felt like the best PvP I'd seen in a while. It was just really, really close matches. Both these guys... Both those guys showing some high-level stuff. But I think it was White who then shifted into doing some cheese from there to go ahead and push his way in uh, to, to the winner's bracket. Pylon being placed alongside that Vesping Geyser. Whoever wins here will advance. Whoever loses here goes on to face Nooks in the final match, as we've already got that established. I will say my heart's rooting for Sony a little bit, mostly because, again, friend of the stream. I, gotta, I feel like I need to state my biases, so you guys know. Are seeing a gate on 10, both directions. An initial probe scout moving out for white. Looks like well, we'll see if initial indications if he goes to the 12 o'clock base. Ascension. I'm not sure what to say about it, PvP, except that who it, I feel like the build orders that allow you to get map control in the mid game end up being more advantageous overall just because that third base is a little bit challenging to defend. Because as Dragoons can just descend on it from the high ground. So it looks like it is going to be a later scout from White. Juicy, if he goes for that clockwise scout. Looks like he is going to have at least a slight scouting advantage. He's making his way that direction. Simulator online. Also morphing in on this direction. Cybernetic score before any units for Juicy. Go ahead and get a tech league. We are seeing a initial zealot being produced now. And that, actually, is this just even build orders? Go ahead and look at the cybernetic score. Yeah, it looks like it's dead. Dead identical, dead even build orders. Probes hiding for a moment, but going ahead and wandering in, now finding that. So the really the only difference here is, is this probe and that the fact that it went out a little bit earlier for white. Zealot going to go ahead and try to chase down and do a little bit of harassment. Is this Zealot going to get here in time to go ahead and blockade? Every once in a while you can kind of pin that probe into the wall. It looks like it wasn't able to. So going to be able to wander in, see the assimilator up, the gas mining. Looking for pylon counts, etc. Also seeing that cybernetic score not whirling. Cy range is being upgraded for both players now. So it is literally dead even build orders. Although it looks like white might get a slight advantage just because the Dragoon about to be produced and this probe is one hit away. So it's going to have to exit a little bit earlier. Third pylon on the ground. This probe still might be able to take a shot. Oh, trying to escape through that edge. Taking one hit. Needs to get out of dodge now, though. Ah, and doesn't manage to do so. So, slight advantages. Juicy able to get his probe out where White was not. Now, let's see if we're ending up with any difference in build order. Thus far, it looks like White going ahead and grabbing two gate, so opting to open two gate. Pylon in the upper left-hand corner for Juicy. He's going to go ahead and go one gate robotics facility. Now, depending on how he plays it, this could be a build order advantage for Juicy. Already camping, looks like some Zealots and Dragoons out to that corner. But White going a little bit more gateway heavy early on, going two gate robo. That is going to give him the army advantage and potentially, keep in mind, you don't have a ramp to fire up on this. Potentially, can go ahead and get in his opponent's face and seal him maybe into that natural expansion. And this is, again, where I'm going to go ahead and do that map reveal. Where I feel, because this third... Go ahead and remove that for you. Because this third base, you have this area of entry from the high ground to go ahead and kind of do these walking Dragoon shot advantages. If it moves to that stage of the map... Oops, accidentally sped up. Oops. Is it down that does it? There. Accidentally sped things up. Go ahead and slow it back down to normal speed. So I'm struggling with my own replay, whatever not. At least I know the hotkeys now to make it work. This probe trying to cycle around and get some scouting information, but that's entirely being denied. 
White filtering in more units, putting a pile onto that natural expansion. Looks like Juicy is setting up to go ahead and one gate Robo grab the observatory and the robotic support bay behind this. And he's going to grab his expansion. So we're going to defend this with Dragoons, Reavers, and then just have an observer to go ahead and scout the difference in between. I like that he's got this probe pocketed. Let me go ahead and take off a map reveal now. Already has that probe pocketed to go ahead and get eyes. And White walking up with the units and starting to march out. He's going to head. So he skipped the robotic facility. It looks like he's got that observatory. But he's going to have an overall dra uh, Dragoon count advantage. He's going to be, looks like he was able to go ahead and get a, as a side thought, kill that probe. He's going to grab that natural expansion. It's going to come out somewhat later, several seconds behind. But he does have more ground troops to work with. So behind in the probe count, more ground units to work with. The Reaver is going to be produced. So Juicy, economically going to have that lead. But I'm wondering, again, about the map control as it moves into the mid game. Dragoon's taking the high ground. The Observer's seeing it. The Observer coming alongside. Looks like he's going to be able to pick that Shimmer off. Nice eyes from White. So now Juicy in the dark. And now hanging out, you can see Ordi is starting to establish, uh, establish position over that high ground. He's going to be able to wander up. See that that natural expansion was taken somewhat earlier. Sees the Reaver. This is not a fight that White should try to take. But yeah, I can just sit here on the high ground, leave this observer nearby, and just, yeah, set up and play from there. Actually, it looks like he's, as I say that, he's going to go ahead and seed the high ground. Wandering. Two additional gateways plopping down. Second Reaver moving out to the natural expansion. So, I will say if White doesn't press forward and doesn't maintain control over the third, and play towards that edge of the game. Juicy is going to have the big economic lead and is going to be able to turn around and just basically overwhelm him with potentially a stronger economy and more tech units just fielded. Juicy taking a very defensive posture here. Third gateway being tacked on, but this is going to be th three gateways and the Reaver count is going to be behind, not permanently, but significantly for a while. This observer tracking out to go ahead and get a look at what's going on. Looks like it took, took a couple shots, getting hunted down. Juicy trying to escape with it to the north. But it looks like that is just going to be in range. White doing a fantastic job of keeping his opponent in the dark. Grabbing a second assimilator, so... Maybe wanting to play a little bit more tech-heavy. Does have that shuttle. Waiting for that second reverb to use. Uh, first shuttle already on the front for Juicy. Juicy also grabbing his second gas. So right now, Juicy way up in the probe count. Taking on two additional gateways. White honestly wandering up as though he wants to take a fast third behind all of this. To try to catch up economically. Citadel of Dune warping in. That observer being pushed back, but really no movements to go ahead and stop Juicy from going ahead and pushing and taking this high ground. And as soon as he establishes this high ground, yeah, White's got to settle for more of a long-term economic play from there. So Juicy, economic lead, 10 supply ahead, a lot of units ahead, is gathering up all of his units. Probe, I'm not sure that White can even see much with that. He's got that probe pocketed to go ahead and get eyes earlier. But this Observer is going to wander up, see the fact that there's only three gateways down. The fourth gateway coming online, he knows he's got that lead. So potentially Juicy can do the same thing opposite direction. Just go up, march, shove his way up the high ground with his Reavers and try to deny that third. White, you can see, already concerned about it. He's kind of grouping up in the high ground himself. Might lose a third observer. Currently, two Reavers still holding position here. Unit count continuing to be in Juicy's favor. Just playing it in just macro versus macro thus far. Fifth gateway being tacked on. 
and six gateway being tacked on, as well as a cannon at the main just to defend. Templar Archives is online. Citadel Dome behind this. We do have six gateways as well. And now White may be looking to swing. Maybe he can push through this gap. As just out of position. Doesn't. He's lost so many observers. Now White looking to go ahead and engage on the high ground. Eating a huge amount of initial Reaver fire. And the Reaver's trying to walk up. And not being a factor at all. And it looks like that Reaver one shot. Two shots were utilized. But that was it. And White completely in flight. Juicy with a much larger army chasing this down. He can go ahead and expand and deny a third now. Bad engagement there. Oof. Trying to walk uphill. The Reavers, maybe because of lack of vision, I'm not sure what. Not even taking any shots. But now White, 40 supply behind. Juicy happy to go ahead and grab his third. Yeah, I can just play this as an economic stranglehold from here. One advantage is the Templar Archives potentially Psy Storm could get White back into this match, either via Storm Drops or having some High Templar and just getting some really good Psy Storms somewhere in the midst of this. He is trying to put a, a field of Dark Templar. And White has mitigated the amount of observers of Juicy out in this field. However, Juicy still has an observer here. He is morphing a cannon at the natural expansion to go ahead and respect potential Dark Templar. He's got two Reavers and Shuttles now. And I, honestly, it's going to be a fight for White to just go ahead and defend the high ground above his third. And Juicy's definitely, I think, going to take some shots at it because he's got this observer sitting here looking at this probe that's planning on grabbing it. Let's see if he even goes like the, the far, well, see if he goes far away around and attacks from this northern corridor. Force White into him. Currently, though, abandoning <laughs> defense on this third, knowing that White is pinned back. Cycling a little bit to the south. Is this going to be the same thing th the other direction? The Reaver is not in the fight yet. The shuttle taken out with the Reaver in it. And the Reaver, once again, a null factor as it was trying to attack uphill. But Juicy has enough of an attack force with the Zealots able to just push up and barrel up. The high ground has been breached. Observers picked off as well. And if White was thinking about taking that three o'clock, that sorry, that three o'clock third base, he can forget about it. Juicy marching in with the rest of his army. And now firmly encamped on the high ground above that third. And this is the thing, yeah, once once unit control starts playing a factor here, it just starts snowballing. Just starts snowballing from here. High Templar are on the front. Potentially to drop some size storms. That might be an equalizing factor. That's White's kind of last card in the hole. But behind this, the Templar Archives is online. Level 1 weapons as well. Everything in Juicy's favor. Just across the board. This is looking dire for White. Additional gateways being tacked on. He knows he needs to... Equalize things with an army... He might move out with that plus one weapons, thinking, okay, maybe I can get a weapon upgrade advantage. Unfortunately, he's got to filter through out of his own gap right here. I think Juicy realizes, since there's no additional movements to go ahead and push up to that three o'clock base, that he can go ahead and sit back and just defend oncoming attacks, play that macro advantage, and win the game from here. He's got a lot of gateways Plopping down all sorts of cannon, or sorry, cannons, pylons behind that. So nine gateways online. Is, there is a gateway lead for white, but if you just look at the supply difference, juicy and firm control of this match. The observer is somehow still able to stay alive as this army grouping up to that three o'clock location. Maybe white thinking he can go ahead and grab this. Yeah, so he's got a probe marching up there. Realizing that the coast is, for the moment, clear. But the question is, is for how long? Double Forge whirling in in the background. There are High Templar now on the ground for Juicy, so a potential High Templar advantage has been negated. Big engagement right here. 
And it looks like the initial size storm is going to be dropped over a huge amount of White's army and another size storm over the other High Templar. But it looks like there were equally devastating size storms on Juicy's side. But Juicy just looks like he has too many units. Plus, he has these beefy Archons that can go ahead and eat the size storm and keep rolling. The High Templar being picked off before it's able to drop additional size storm. And there is the GG as Juicy's army marching to the high ground above the third. And White, that's unfortunate. White showing really good showing last season of Hasu League gets eliminated here in Group A. And we're going to see Juicy go ahead and rematch Nooks in the final. So we'll see if uh, we can get a, a turnaround of the previous matches. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.